Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Fandom Strategies. So let's talk about Litecoin in this video. Uh, I'm looking at the daily chart for Litecoin and it's trading right now at 31.18. Uh, so I want to cover Litecoin because it has have relatively strong rebound since the low that we have seen in mid-December. So uh, if you remember back in mid-December when the overall market tank, uh, Litecoin also made the new lows and it was around $22. Since then, you know, since that low, we have touched around $40, $42 mark in Litecoin. And if you really look at from that bottom, it was about uh, close to 80% move in Litecoin, 80, 83% move from the bottom that we have seen in uh, mid-December. So within a month, it had moved about 80%. And that was a lot of the time. That's when I really talk about taking the profit when you have them. Uh, you don't want to sit on a profit in this kind of market. At least not the, like, you know, um, all of it. You can you know take po profit in 50 or like 70 percent of the position and let the rest of the position run and when the market drops again you can you know buy it again but when you have the when the market is moving this much in a daily um, uh, daily trading you do want to take periodic profits even if it's like 30 40 percent especially when the move happened within a few days you do want to take some of those profit and uh, lock them up because that's where you know that you are pulling out your initial investment the main thing is uh, you do want to pull out the initial investment and trade on the house money rather than like you know uh, completely heavily 100% invested with your own capital all right I will talk about some of those discipline uh, in this videos when I start creating uh, you know um, when I do this daily uh, video ch um, you know content um, so you will see um, what I'm exactly talking about uh, so Litecoin again um, we had uh, this uh, drop back in December so if you look at the if you look at Litecoin in the daily view, um, I'm, uh, there was a nice inverse head and shoulder pattern that took place um, uh, in, in Litecoin. You see there's a, um, if I make some diagrams here, let's uh, see if I, if I can make, this is a left shoulder right here. Um, let me see if I can, uh, it didn't make, uh, let me delete, sorry about that, remove and um, yeah let's just use this so there was a left shoulder right here uh, your head and your right shoulder so there is an inverse head and shoulder pattern that happened in Litecoin if you look at the daily chart now what is inverse head and shoulder inverse head and shoulder is a bullish pattern uh, it typically happens at the bottom of the bottom of the like channel bottom of the like you know chart uh, basically what it does is like it gives you a positive signal to a lot of the technical traders that we have seen the recent low and you know we have um, we we have some it can actually build some momentum toward the upside now in order to in order to have this pattern come true and alive we need to make sure we are breaching the neckline in this case it's going to be around thirty four dollars and we are not we were over the thirty four dollar mark but we are uh, since then we have come below that thirty four and now we are sitting right on the fifty day support um, so we had a nice chance few days ago when we had a, a nice breakout when we actually broke out of that neckline and we we're making the run toward 42 and perhaps that 47 uh, dollar mark uh, but we need we did not have a follow through and a lot had to do with the overall uh, negative market uh, if we had the positive market uh, you would have seen litecoin touch that 47 40 uh, 47 49 mark you know by now because it, it had a lot of momentum when we broke that neckline uh, which is around $34 so right now what, what is going on is we have uh, we have we are sitting below the neckline we do have some resistance that we need to clear as far as the uh, moving average are concerned we have the nine day and the 20 day moving average so we need to clear some some of the resistance is consolidating and we need to stay over this 50 day moving average uh, that's we are sitting in uh, sitting on on the daily chart so all in all litecoin right now uh, is consolidating but we do need to be careful with litecoin right now uh, we don't want to 
turn this winning um, you know trade into a losing trade so that's when I'm keep on saying even if the market is moving in the in your favor make sure we are taking this periodic profit until the market is proving us other way around and until the market becomes more stable right now it's more of a traders market what I mean by that is like you know you will make more money if you buy and sell on like uh, and doing some trading if you just sit on your like if you buy it and hold it it I mean eventually it will like you know longer term yes there will be momentum but you can make more profit by you know trading this market and especially with all the uncertainty in the market it's better to you know adapt to the market and be uh, more little agile in your approach all right um, <clears throat> Again, 50-day moving average, that's a good support for Litecoin and we want to make sure we are staying over that 50-day um, uh, uh, the moving average. Alright, so just keep it simple. Anything over 50-day moving average, stay long. Anything below, have a stop loss or like take some profit because I would just keep that 50-day moving average as a, as a gauge for Litecoin and you know, you know, staying um, you know anything over I would you know I will be happy to be bullish anything below that I will uh, you know make sure that I'm uh, not getting into like uh, seven eight ten percent losses because anything if you are down ten fifteen percent in one of the coins it will take you uh, you know, f uh, you know it will take you twenty percent from that price point on to make even so it's not it's not like you know let's say if you're down 10 percent it doesn't mean that you're gonna if the coin's gonna go up 10 percent you're gonna be at your break even no from that point on your the coin the trading price has to go 20 percent uh at uh from that point in order to you to uh, be break even so it's not just 10 percent so a lot of amateur trader make this silly mistake so please remember it's not just 10 percent when you go down 10 percent you need to make 20% in order to make that break even all right so that's all for litecoin again i do like litecoin it have been trading pretty well um i just need you just need to like you know be a little agile in your approach when you're trading this market uh don't get attached to uh, one of the coins or any of the projects uh, right now the, there is a lot of uncertainty in the market uh it can be positive it can be negative it's depending on how you are using it and how you're trading the market so please be careful on your approach make sure uh, you know protecting your capital that should be your number one uh, goal if you protect your capital you know profit will come on its own but make sure you're you know taking care of your risk you're taking care of your downside upside will follow all right that's all for today and i will talk to you soon uh if you um are new to the channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the notification and the like button so you can get this content right away and if you're learning something from this channel then please uh uh, post it in the comment you know let me know what else you would like to see any other coins you want me to cover and i will be happy to do so all right bye